I'm Tia Bourne with Mining IR. We are here at the 2023 Mines and Money Conference in Miami. With me is Saf Dillon, President and CEO of iMetal Resources. Saf, thank you so much for joining me this morning. Hi, Tia. Thanks for having me. Are you having a good time so far? Yeah. This, Miami's a great city and this is a great conference. It is a great conference. Yes. It's fun to be in some heat. Yes. Coming from <laughs> Vancouver. That's right. Can you give us a bit of background on the company? Yes. Um, iMetal Resources is a uh, we're a junior resource company focused primarily on gold projects. We've got three projects in Ontario and one across the border in Quebec. All four of our projects are uh, located in the Abitibi Greenstone Gold Belt. And what are those areas like as mining jurisdictions? Uh, the Abitibi Greenstone Belt, since gold was first found, or the first minerals were found back in 1903 or 1902, there's been about 200 million ounces of gold produced, roughly 400 million ounces of silver, and uh, it's still known as one of the most prolific uh, past producer and current producer in the world. Ontario and Quebec are considered the top uh, uh, top three, two and uh, number two spot, number three spot in the world for being the safest jurisdictions and the most prolific as well. Wow, I'm from Ontario. Hey, I can, oh. I can understand that. <laughs> yes. It's a good spot. Yes. What about in terms of infrastructure? Uh, infrastructure in place, in, uh, uh, we're located in what's called the Shiny Tree Camp. It's probably the least, um, um, least developed of all the mining camps. Some of the world's largest mining camps are all located in the Abitibi. Um, you got companies like Kirk and Lake, or their, sorry, their predecessor now, they're part of Agnico Eagle which is one of the largest mining companies in the world. They also happen to be a neighbor of ours that we share a border with on our flagship property, Gauganda West. And can you dive a little deeper into the projects? Yes, so as I just mentioned, Gauganda West is our flagship property. It's roughly 147 square kilometers. We have a major uh, provincial highway that runs through the property. We've got logging roads that are maintained by the logging companies well through our whole property. And again, we share a border with uh, Aris Mining, which is roughly a half a billion dollar market cap, and Agnico Eagle through their joint venture with uh, Ore Finders, $35 billion company. And uh, we've actually just completed a seven hole uh, drilling campaign last year, and we're preparing for another 5,000 meters coming up within probably the next 30 to 45 days. Exciting. Yes. Seth, can you share what some of the catalysts are that investors should be aware of? Yeah, um, we're sitting probably at about a $10 million market cap. I think we're probably one of the more active liquid junior mining companies. We have uh, two, um, uh, two upcoming drill, drilling campaigns. One of them I just mentioned at Gauganda West, roughly about 5,000 meters. And then also our Quebec property we're uh, uh, about to initiate a drilling campaign there as well, roughly about uh, the same 2,500 to 5,000 meters. And uh, uh, both of these, like I said, could be starting here at the beginning of uh, April and of March. So an exciting year ahead. Yes. What else are you looking forward to? Um, all of our neighbors, I think, are, are actively drilling as well. We've had uh, um, a, a new major discovery found less than 1.5 kilometers from our Quebec property called Car Hill. Uh, it's critical minerals that are basically surrounding us. We're kind of like the donut hole. Everybody around us has been having very good success with uh, a lot of these battery, uh, battery critical elements. Steph, what separates iMetal Resources from other junior mining companies? Um, you know, I think, uh, I think the key thing is that uh, there's thousands of junior mining companies. There's many companies that are less than 10, 20 kilometers away from a major either mine, discovery, or a resource. We're fortunate that we have all four of our projects, either we share a border with a major, or we're less than five kilometers on one property from a actual producing mine. So I, I think that um, that's really what sets us, sets us apart, that we do have known discoveries and known resources right next to our boundaries. Which is very significant. Yes, very Seth, is there anything else you'd like to leave our investors with before I let you go? Um, 
You know what? I think iMetal is uh, is a junior company that uh, I think investors should be on the lookout for. I think that we're on the cusp of hopefully being the next new discovery in Canada. Saf, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you, too.